Hello, I'm Fritz Horstman from the Albers Foundation. In this video, we're going to make a greeting card using a technique that Joseph Albers called rearrangement. To do this, we'll need two different colors of paper, scissors, glue, and a dark marker. You can also try it with paint. I'll make a second version later with paint so you can see that also. To rearrange means to change the way something is put together. Here's a rearrangement made by one of Joseph Albers' students with words that were printed in red, then cut into strips and rearranged into a sort of spiral. And here's one made using the German word Volkswohl, which means public welfare. Look how the words were cut into strips at the bottom to stretch the words out. Okay, now it's our turn. To begin, we need to decide which color paper is going to be our background of our card and which color is going to be used to make the design. All right, let's get started. I've decided that I want my yellow paper to be the background, to be the actual card. So I will first fold the yellow paper like this. So I've matched the corners and then I put a crease down the back and so now I have a basic card. I can set this off to the side, and I'm only going to need about a quarter of my green paper, which I will then be putting on top of the yellow paper. To cut a quarter of this, there's several ways you could do it. What I'm going to do is first fold it like I did the yellow paper, and then fold it again Okay, so I have four equal parts. So each of these is a quarter and I can then cut along those lines and I know I'll have a quarter of the paper. Okay, so the rest of this is scrap that I can use for another project on another day, but I'll set it off to the side now. This is where I'm going to draw a design or a word or something, which I will then be cutting apart and I will rearrange it on the yellow paper. Because we are making a holiday card, we're marking the end of the year, I am going to write the year that we are in now, which I'll be cutting up to rebuild here in a rearrangement. So the year is 2020. I want my design to fill a lot of the space on this green paper so that later when I cut it apart, parts of the, the design will be on the parts that I've cut. So I'm gonna make my lines a little thicker. Now it's time to cut the paper that has our design on it, which I will then put over onto the yellow paper in the rearrangement. There's no one way that it has to be cut. It could be cut into squares perfectly evenly. It could be cut into thin strips. It could be cut into triangles or any other shape that you want. There's no right and no wrong way to do this. I'm going to cut it into triangles and other shapes. Before I start, I can try a few different things and see how these things are going to come together. There are light areas and dark areas, and so it might be interesting to bring those together in different ways and see what sorts of shapes happen. And I'm just trying ideas right now. I know that what I do on my yellow paper will probably be a little bit different from this. and you can overlap your shapes if you want to, or maybe you want to have space between them. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin on my yellow paper. And to do that, we need a piece of scrap paper that we can work on top of so that we don't make a mess with our glue. I'm gonna be using a glue stick, but you could use whatever sort of glue works for you. A trick to gluing is to put the piece that you want to glue face down on your scrap paper and then put the glue onto it that way so I can get glue all over the back of it evenly without making a mess.
you recall that at the beginning, the green paper read 2020. And so I've now cut apart the year 2020 and I've reassembled it into, it sort of looks like I made a cactus, doesn't it? 2020 was, I think, a hard year for lots of people. So maybe it's appropriate that it is reborn as a cactus. <laughs> because we can no longer read 2020 in this because it's been so thoroughly rearranged, I'm going to use my pen and just write that on the back of the card so that I can remember. Or if I give this as a gift to someone, then they'll know what I wrote there. I'm going to try the same process again, but this time I'm going to use red and blue papers and paint instead of a marker. So I put a little bit of black paint into this cup and I have a brush and I'll still need my scissors and my glue. So this time, instead of writing a word, I'm going to paint some bells. Just like before, I'm going to cut my image into smaller pieces, which I will then rearrange to make a new design on the card. This time, I'm going to try cutting it just in thin strips. Using just two colors of paper, marker, paint in this case, scissors and glue, we made these holiday greeting cards, which we can now send to friends or family. Now it's your turn. Find a couple of colors of paper, draw onto one of them or write a number or word, and then cut that apart and rearrange it onto a second piece of paper. See what you can do. Have fun with it. Annie and Joseph Albers sent this holiday greeting card to their friends and family in 1938, wishing them a good beginning to 1939. They painted right onto a postcard that shows a picture of a loop in a road. In 1956, they made this card. Can you spot the code they put into the middle of the dots? It says one and nine and five and seven, wishing their friends a good 1957. Thanks for watching.